staying on top of a crash that left a woman dead it happened last month in a Pueblo West neighborhood at Purcell and Joe Martinez. The Pueblo County coroner says True Gallegos was killed when she was hit walking across the street at that intersection. 11 News reporter Aaron Vitito is joining us live from Pueblo West where Gallegos lost her life. Aaron, you spoke with her son who is telling you he wants to see more traffic safety measures there. Federico tells me his mother's death never should have happened. Now you can actually see the intersections behind me here, but you can't see much. There are no street lights here, and you can only see the lights from our own lights as well as the passing cars. Now keep in mind, this is rush hour traffic, and she was killed after 8 p.m. Now True Gallegos' death is still under investigation, but her son tells me no matter who's at fault, he thinks something needs to change. I mean, I just like to see some action, you know, so I mean, if, if, if they are to put a stop sign or a stop light, lights, anything at all like that, you know, that way another family doesn't have to go through this. Now, right now, the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office say they don't believe speed or impairment or factors in the crash, but I did speak with them and Pueblo Police on what they've seen in terms of deadly auto pedestrian crashes. In the county, deputies tell me they haven't had to investigate very many, with this being the only one this year. They say they didn't have any for the past two years. That's countywide. But in the city, Pueblo Police say they've investigated 11 so far. That's compared to one last year and four in 2021. They say they hope that this sudden rise is just a fluke, but they're still looking into it and asking all pedestrians to be extra cautious when crossing any road. Federico tells me he's been trying to work with law enforcement for more safety measures, so they might be put into place in the future to avoid crashes like this from happening and keeping those numbers closer to zero. Now he's also raising money in his mother's name in a GoFundMe for funeral expenses as well as to donate to charity and to her church. You can find that link on our website, kktv.com. Just click on find it. Live in Pueblo West, Aaron Vitito, KKTV 11 News. Okay, Aaron.